Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to XPS Tech. I'm Vineet and in today's video, we'll check out how to change your Linux boot animation or splash screen. And we are going to do that with the help of the Plymouth splash screen application. Now Plymouth is a widely used boot splash application which provides a graphical boot animation when you start or shut down your computer and also logs console text output to a log file. It is used in many popular Linux distribution like Mint, Ubuntu, Mandriva, Elementary and many many other. Arch also has this application in its repository. So it's extremely popular. All right, so let's go ahead and start today's video and learn more about this application. All right, before we begin the demonstration, I would like to tell you that Plymouth was developed by a developer named Ray Strobe or Fred Hat. And it was first introduced in 2008 with the release of Fedora 10 Cambridge. All right, right now I am on my elementary Linux machine. If you're using any other Linux distribution, first check if Plymouth is installed on your computer or not. To do that, open up a terminal and type in sudo apt dash cache policy Plymouth and press enter type in your sudo password and press enter again all right as you can see it says installed and gives the version number which is actually the latest version and also do keep that in mind that in debian and its derivative like ubuntu elementary they uses apt as its package management tool if you're using fedora or arch linux then your package management tool may not be apt so in that case you need to use the corresponding command to check if your computer has plymouth installed or not all right now there are two ways to install a new plymouth theme on your system first is to install it from your repository and it is basically the same method that you use to install any other package on your system. First, let's check the themes that are available in our repos. To do that, type in sudo apt cache search and type in plymouth theme and press enter. So as you can see, we have few Plymouth themes that are available in our repository. Now to install a particular theme, for example, to install the theme solar, you type in sudo apt get install and the name of the theme so it's going to be plymouth dash theme dash solar and press enter now i have already downloaded this theme in fact i have already downloaded all the themes that are available in the repository and that's the reason why it says zero newly installed because plymouth theme solar is already installed on my computer and is off latest version now to install all the themes available in the repository onto your system all you have to do is instead of typing the solar type in asterisk and then press enter now this will install all the themes one by one so this is the first way and the basic method of installing a plymouth theme on your computer now the second way is to download a theme from a third party website and then install it on your computer there's a great website gnomelook.org where you can find many Plymouth boot splash screen. So let's go ahead and download any one theme for our demonstration purpose. So let's download Fluttershy and Rainbow Dash boot splash. Click on this. And then click on download. All right, so download has completed. Now let's open this in the file manager. Okay, here's the zip file that we just downloaded. Now the next thing that we need to do is we need to extract this file to our lib slash plymouth slash themes folder. Now if you do that from here and click on extract and go to lib slash plymouth slash themes folder and click on extract it will say that you do not have the right permission so in this case you need to open up the file manager with root privileges 
Now since elementary uses the Pantheon file manager, so to open up an instance of file manager with root privileges, type in sudo space Pantheon dash files. And now press enter. All right, now as you can see, it has given us a file manager with root privileges. So now we'll be able to extract the content of the zip file to the live plymouth themes folder. So just click right click on this, open archive manager and click on extract and now go to computer lib plymouth and go to themes and click on extract. Now it says extraction completed successfully. So that's good. Now close this and close this archive manager and close the root file manager. All right, now the extraction has successfully been completed. Next, we need to install the theme. All right now, before we do that, let's check out the files under the extracted folder. In these files, colors.plymouth is your main file and that is the file that we need to install. Now, there's a slightly different process to the installation here. Whenever your computer starts, the default plymouth file that your computer uses is under lib plymouth themes and it's the default.plymouth theme. Now this is the file that your computer uses whenever it boots up or your computer shuts down. Now what we need to do is we need to link our newly extracted colors.plymouth file to default.plymouth. To do that, we open up a terminal and create a symbolic link so that default.plymouth will link to colors.plymouth. All right. To do that, type in sudo, give a space, update, dash alternatives, give a space, dash dash install, give a space and the path of default.plymouth, which is lib plymouth dash themes dash default dot dot plymouth and then the name of the symbolic link is going to be the same default dot plymouth and our colors dot plymouth file so which is under lib slash plymouth slash themes slash colors slash colors dot plymouth now what this command does is it links colors dot plymouth to default dot plymouth so now just press enter type in your root password press enter again all right, we need to mention the priority also. Let's give the priority as 500 and press enter. All right, the next command that we need to type in is sudo space update dash alternatives. Give a space dash dash config and give the link name default dot plymouth and press enter. Now, as you can see, it gives list of all the files that are linked symbolically to default.plymouth. Now here you get to choose any one link from a list of available symbolic link to default.plymouth that the default.plymouth should point to. So we have just installed colors.plymouth, I think, and which is under number two. So just type in two and press enter priority in this case is in case you do not choose any option then the file with the highest priority will be chosen automatically all right so i'm just going to press 2 and then press enter okay it says it has successfully changed now the next is to update our initial ram file system to do that type in sudo give a space update dash initial i n i t ram fs give a space and dash u as option and press enter all right so now it's done so it has updated our initial ram file system and now if we restart the computer you should see change in our boot animation so let's go ahead and restart the computer
all right so as you can see our boot animation has been changed to the latest uh, boot splash screen which we just installed so this is how you change your Plymouth boot splash screen pretty simple it's just the three commands that you need to run first you need to create a symbolic link to your newly extracted dot Plymouth file and then you need to config your default dot Plymouth and choose the option from the list of available themes and then at the end you need to update your initial RAM file system All right, so that was all. And just before I wrap up this video, I would also like to show you a small Python script that I created uh, just to automate these three steps. So if I go to root and I've created this plymouth.py file, and it's basically just seven, eight lines of code. I've imported a module called subprocess. It asks you first to enter the path to your dot plymouth file. And once you do that, it gives asks you to enter the priority and that's all. And then it will automatically run all the other three commands and change your boot splash screen. So let's quickly demo this file also. So I type in sudo and dot slash plymouth dot pi and type in the root password press enter now it asks to enter the path to your dot plymouth theme file now we have already changed our boot splash screen to the latest colors dot plymouth this time let's change it to chromix so in the chromix one folder we have chromix dot plymouth so let me enter the path to this file so it's slash lib slash plymouth slash themes slash chromix one slash chromix dot plymouth and just make sure that there's no typos in there you enter the path correctly and now press enter now the priority let's give 950 in this case and press enter as you can see 950 it lists our chromix dot plymouth file so i'm just going to type in zero to choose the first option and press enter now and now it's updating our initial RAM file system all right so the update is complete and at the end it also gives a message Plymouth theme successfully changed so this is just the Python script that I wrote now let's restart the computer All right, great. Now our boot splash screen has been changed to Chromix theme. So that was all for today, guys. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you like this video. If you do, kindly press the like button. If you have any comment or suggestion, please type that in in the comment box. And a huge shout out to all the subscribers of my channel. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time.